Hey y'all, welcome back to Beauty With Ty. And today's video is going to be all about this Elva wig as well as these Olaxer styling products. This wig is by far the best, best wig that I have ever received. Like the fact that it comes pre-plucked with like inches of parting space is a lifesaver so let's get right into it so you can see how this wig is so this is the box that the wig came in and this is a 360 lace wig and it has a really nice pamphlet that came with it give you all the caring instructions how to style it also came with the net and this is how the wig is looking straight out of the box i did bleach the knots and it does have like three combs in it as well as like a tag like they really spent their time on this wig as well as adjustable straps but that hairline honey it is the bomb so yeah as you can see it is a full lace wig here i has already bleached the knots and washed the hair so i'm showing you the hairline which is I can't stop saying it enough. It's the bomb. And this is how the hair is looking. And when it's wet, it did pretty much wave up a little bit. So I did just comb it out so that I can blow dry the hair. I just blow dry it with a vent brush so that I can get it straight as possible. And this is not the blow dry I usually use. <clears throat> but this is the one that I had on hand right now. So... Right now, as far as the styling tools, they're by Olaxer, and this is an Amazon-based company, and I'll leave two codes down below so you can receive 30 and 40% off of them if you do purchase. They're really, really nice, and the temperature goes up to like 450 degrees on the um, straighteners, and you have like five different temperatures you can choose on the actual curlers and these are not your actual your average curlers because it's like the barrel spins around on its own to make it easier it's not automatic but it does spin around if that makes sense so i'll show you guys later and this is what the hair is looking like after i have blow dried it it's really really thick it is 150 density however when it's like blow dry it looks even thicker than what it really is so these are the flat irons and it has some type of ceramic metal plate that just glides on the hair and make it easier to straighten like there is a difference between these flat irons and my original cortex flat irons that you know like you guys know I live by like look how silky and smooth it looks like I haven't put any product on this hair no heat protecting or anything like that and it's it's really getting this hair together. As you can see, the ends of the hair that has not been flat ironed compared to the ends of the hair that I have flat ironed, it's a complete difference. So I will be doing another video so you guys can see the difference between my Cortex and these um, Olexa flat irons. So listen, you guys need to get these flat irons. And then they're really, really nice and pretty. It has like this rose gold plate. And look at the hair. It's just looking so silky and smooth just from me flat ironing the hair. And I ran it through only once on each piece of hair. So this here, I'm just showing you guys really quick, even though I have other videos on how I lay down my frontals. I thought I'd show you guys on this one because it is a difference when that hairline is pre-plucked. And I'll leave a link down below on how I glue down my frontals and I use Ghost Bond. But it is it makes a big difference when companies pre-pluck the hair because we can pre-pluck it, but to have a machine put the hairs in where they need to go versus where we pre-pluck it, it's a complete difference. And I have like makeup on my hair because I didn't put a cap underneath. I just put some powder foundation. So that's the brown slash orangey color that you see. But that hairline honey it is the best like i thought rpg show was like my top company however now this is my top wig company this wig was it just took me off my feet everybody loved this wig i love this wig this wig it was like no need to do any baby hair so some of y'all got y'all wish of me doing a video with no baby hair because this one you didn't need it it was the Bob, I can't stop saying. Okay, I'm gonna stop saying. But here, I'm just trying a little style, and it's straight. So I'm gonna put this headband on it, and I just pulled it back, and it looks so natural and realistic. I just loved this wig; it was the bomb. <laughs> but 
yeah those flat irons got my hair really straight really nice and neat and it did not damage the hair any even with the setting all the way up on 450 which it didn't need to be it still made the hair look perfect so here these are the curl irons that i'm using well it says curling one but I'm just curling my hair and I like to curl away from my face when I'm curling it. So that's why I'm curling it towards the back like this. And the curlers are really good too because I'm pretty sure I probably could have just went straight to curling my hair from after I blow dried it. And it would have actually straightened it and curled it. Look at that. Ooh, I just love these curlers. And I was just going for like some soft little beach curls. I wasn't trying to do too much or make it too curly. I just wanted some soft little wave curls. So that's why I'm doing big sections. But if you want it more defined, you will actually do smaller sections and layer it. But this is what I was talking about. You see how I'm holding it and then I can just pull it and it turns on its own. That is so cool. Like <laughs> this company is the bomb you guys have to order this it is after christmas y'all got these gift cards go and get you these curling wand as well as these straight combs and this wig because honey all three of these just took me to a whole nother level like my life is so set but listen it looks so good those waves i put in it look good so with this hair is it's so versatile like you can do so much you can wear it straight you can curl it you can do whatever and it looks so good you could not tell me like i always say that this is not my hair i kept flipping it off my face flipping it from this side to that side i got so many compliments on it so yeah, this is pretty much the finished look. And here I'm just showing you guys that I am able to pull it back. And it still looks good, real natural and realistic. Now this is how my wig was looking six days later. Six days later, I was looking like this. It looked like, <laughs> I don't know what hit me, but uh, this was early one morning. <laughs> it's so funny but yeah this is six days later and it's about time to come off because my sides are coming up so i'm just going to show you guys how i take it off because i often get this question and the wig is still holding up still real soft i haven't flat ironed it anymore or anything like that but i'm just going to take 91 percent alcohol and just rub that over my edges and then i just follow through with that washcloth just lifting it up it come off with ease as you can see it just comes right off with the 91 percent alcohol and everything as far as like my edges are still good everything is pretty much still intact how it was before i put the wig on so no damage on my skin or with my edges so this is what the wig is looking like not too bad not too much glue left on it and i like to take this little lace remover which is like an oil base so whatever the alcohol don't get off i just spray that on wipe it off and voila so i hope you guys enjoyed this video talking about these styling tools as well as the best wig ever elva wigs go pick it up i love you guys and see you next time bye